This is ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike on the side. Uh, can I have a radio check, please? Uh, ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike. Charlie Tango Mike, over. Yeah, good day, Mike. It's uh, Zulu Lima number two, Charlie Tango Mike, uh, transmitting QRP here in uh, Wellington, QTH is Wellington. Uh, if I could just have a radio check, please, over. Yeah, I've got an X7, and uh, very nice clean audio, my friend. What's the name there, over? Yeah, Roger, Roger. The name here is Charlie. Uh, name here is Charlie, and uh, just currently running a, uh, a small QRP homebrew radio. Just finished up uh, making the power amplifier this morning, so uh, you're my first contact on this radio, over. Oh, I'm proud to be so, Charlie. Very proud indeed. No, it's going well. What sort of car are you running? Um, unfortunately, I don't. I, I, I think I'm pushing probably about uh, 15 watts, I would say. Um, I unfortunately don't have a very good power meter on my uh, antenna tuner. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to crank up too much power here because my antenna is just outside the window and I've had a few problems in the past with uh, the RF getting onto the audio. But I'm very pleased that uh, I'm getting into Kerry Kerry uh, reasonably well. Um, I, I suspect I'm pushing but maybe uh, 10, 15 watts of that. Um, just running 12 uh, volts into a uh, small MOSFET as a power amplifier. So, um, but that's very pleasing. I'm very here pleased to hear that. So, uh, Michael, pass back to you. ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike, over. Yes, hi Charlie. Hi, okay. 10 to 15 watts. That's going very well. Oh, well, we'll have to hear you on tank for sure. Running 5 watts on 2W next year. That'll be fun. And, uh, yeah, good luck. And, and uh, well, 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 Uh, was that ZL2 AUA um, Alpha Uniform Alpha? Over. Roger, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. ZL2 Alpha Uniform Alpha. ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike. Okay, Mike. Hey, yeah, thanks very much. And uh, apologies for uh, jumping on top of that net there for the radio check. But uh, yeah, that's very pleasing. Thank you very much. And uh, no doubt we'll catch you um, sometime in the future. So I'll say 73s. And once again, thank you very much. ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike out. Okay, so that was a uh, the first contact on um, on this little radio, which was good. Um, very noisy, as you can see down here, 80 meters tonight. So um, I should have uh, cranked down the, uh, the the gain there a bit. So what I'll do, um, I'll probably pause this video and we'll, I'll come back and sort of click my thoughts and um, go through and have a proper look at what I've done over the last couple of days. So um, like I say, I'll pause here. And um, I'll come back and we'll have a good chat about what we've got here. Okay, so, um, back again. So what I've done over the last couple of days is um, we did that test using the, um, the diodes to do some RF switching. And I wasn't overly happy with some of the um, insertion losses I was getting. So what I've opted to do is to source some, some pin diodes, which I haven't actually sourced yet. Uh, here in New Zealand, so uh, I need to source some pin diodes and then I'll, um, I'll look to reconfigure uh, it. But at the moment, what I've done here, um, this is a relay, it's a uh, double pole, double throw relay, and um, what it's essentially doing is it's um, changing the direction, well the direction of the RF through the circuit here is always in one direction, but 
what it allows you on receive audio um, RF I should say comes through from this mixer through the RF uh, say again IF amp through the filter through a second IF amp amp and then to here to the project uh, detector and then through to the Tensi as per the other day then on transmit uh, the reverse happens so it comes through here cuts across goes around cuts back this way through here and back out again so that's the only difference we're done there um, added a um, two relays these are a double pole double throw relays um, and this bit of a rat's nest here what it's essentially doing is the output of the um, in this particular case an 80 meter band pass filter is being switched so the bottom is the common switched between um, sending audio say again RF to the power amplifier or on receive receiving RF from our antenna amplifier so that's basically that one there and then the second relay here its common goes to the antenna and on transmit it receives its RF um, from the output of the power amplifier or on receive it sends RF into our antenna amplifier so that's the um, um, the uh, those two relays there this little strip of um, 2N222s two two twos, four twos that is um, are switching uh, transistors and they basically switch um, these transistors so um, the coils are hot to 12 volts and then an earth gets switched in via the via the transistors so two for these two here and the third one is for our um, our um, IF steering relay for lack of a better term so what I did for the um, power amplifier it's a um, few stages here so the pre-driver is exactly the same circuits as or circuit as the IF amplifiers so that's a um, 2J310s uh, in CAS code um, and that's our little power, uh, power uh, adjustment here for the whole amplifier so I guess at some stage of the game might be useful to make that into a more of a, a physical pot to allow us to uh, to change the um, the power out. Uh, these are two in 3053s. Um, I've biased this first one to be um, 50 milliamps, and the quiescent current on the second one is 100 milliamps. And the mathematics for the biasing network is exactly as we did for I think it was the first or second video when we looked at the um, the 3904 antenna amplifier so exactly the same maths to work that out um, used a beta of 110 um, for these two devices there uh, the input for stability goes through a um, what do I sitting here in the end it was a 10 dB um, attenuator just to, to knock it back and provide a nice clean 50 ohms for the amplifier uh, by file around so so 10 turns um, just sing out and I can um, put up a circuit diagram um, for that and then the output of the uh, the driver then feeds into um, the PA quite a simple circuit this one I haven't gone into let me just undo the antenna I can swing this around I haven't uh, gone into too much um, Oh, not too fancy here so we have here's an RF 510 and uh, its input is a um, in terms from a biasing point of view is a 5 volt regulator um, and then with the wiper on this 10k pot is providing a DC um, through this 10k resistor to the gate of the RF 510 um, it's sitting at around um, 2 volts um, onto that gate which is getting a quiescent current through a uh, of 100 milliamps so 0.1 amps um, the output of that leading up to VCC is uh, an RFC which is 10 turns on FT 37-43 and um, the output again is another bifolar wound just to uh, transform the low output impedance of the RF 510 up to um, up to 50 ohms so uh, again, just sing out, and I can certainly provide the circuit diagram that one. But it's it's quite a common circuit which you'll find around uh, through a uh, 80 meter um, low pass filter, and then as we saw before, RF comes out, 
um, through that second relay and then out through the antenna. So quite a simple circuit. Um, you heard there uh, talking about on the radio the power. Um, I thought I had it written down before what I was getting in terms of so 35. No, see, I'm a, a little bit suspicious. I had the um, the oscilloscope going and I was getting some watt, you know, power of about 20 watts, which just didn't didn't really make sense for for 12 volts VCC sitting on this. So um, I'm going to have to do some more calculations. But um, that time there, in terms of my uh, in terms of this meter here, so it's theoretically I'm on the 30 watt range and just then I was pushing up through here so the peaks will be 10 and between 10 and what does it say there 10 and 30 so um, I don't particularly trust that but uh, there it was so Kerry Kerry is um, well that's several hundred kilometers from here so Wellington is in the bottom of the um, of the North Island and Kerry Kerry is way up north so it's way north of Auckland so that's uh, that's not too bad for, for not a lot of watts and a very, very poor antenna. Um, unfortunately, I don't have uh, a very good antenna system here, but it's one of my uh, missions for this um, summer is to rectify that. So anyway, um, there you have it. Um, a little homebrew radio there. So uh, I think at this stage of the game, um, to put some thought into next steps for this one. Uh, get those pin diodes and probably have a bit of tinker around with here. Um, I do need to, in fact that's what I probably will do because I do want to get back into it, is, is CW. So at the moment uh, we have a linear power amplifier and um, what I am going to do, I'm going to have the key feeding into the Teensy and I'm going to have the Teensy produce in software a, a pure sine wave and that will be used. So there will be no microphone input, uh, that will be um, from software uh, cutoff within the Teensy the Tensi will produce a, uh, a pure sine wave which will be used to, to modulate um, the RF going out. And then it's just a matter of uh, working out um, in terms of the, the BFO um, or the carrier oscillator in this particular case. Uh, in fact, sorry, it'll be this one here, it'll be the, um, the VFO, where I place that, that transmitted frequency. So I need to put some thought into that one to make sure it perfectly aligns with who I'm receiving. Um, so I just need to, to work that one out. So other than that, um, I'll probably leave it there. That's it's a relatively long video, so I apologise for that. But uh, it was certainly pleasing to hear Mike way up north um, saying that it was a nice, clean audio coming through with um, with S7. So that's not too bad. I'm sure quite happy with that. So um, there you have it. I won't labour this anymore. Um, been quite fun actually, so learnt quite a bit on that one, and I'm very very pleased that uh, I um, I got this to work quite well because I had some problems with biasing these these RF five tens some time ago, and it turned out <laughs> much to my dismay that my old multimeter um, it's uh, it was playing up and I was getting a um, incorrect current reading. So here I was cranking up the bias. On the uh, on the RF510, up and up and up and up, and wondered why I had an RF10 that exploded and sprayed shrapnel all over the lounge. Um, and in fact, that's you probably can't see that, but uh, there goes a bit of carnage there. That is a um, a, a 43-37 um, in pieces. So that's basically had too much current go through that. It's heated up, and it has literally. Um, exploded it. So, uh, yeah, pays to wear safety glasses when you're doing this kind of stuff. Hi, hi. Anyway, and I said, um, singing out if you want any questions, and uh, we shall continue to tinker. And like I say, um, we'll move on to uh, the CW and having a bit of a play around with that. Anyway, 73s, thanks for watching, and uh, like I say, keep the comments coming. Cheers.